Ever thought that growing celery at home is a difficult task? It's a common belief, isn't it? Many of us have been led to believe that celery, with its slender stalks and leafy tops, is a challenging vegetable to cultivate in our own gardens. And let's be honest, there are some truths to this notion. The road to growing celery at home is not without its hurdles. For starters, celery seeds are notorious for their long germination period. It can take anywhere from two to three weeks for the seeds to sprout, testing the patience of even the most dedicated gardeners. Moreover, celery is a thirsty plant. It requires constant watering to ensure its roots are well hydrated and to maintain its characteristic crunch. This can be a challenge, especially in regions where water is scarce or during particularly dry seasons. And let's not forget about the temperature. Celery thrives in cooler climates, making it a tricky crop for those living in warmer parts of the world. However, with the right knowledge and a little patience, you can indeed grow this nutritious vegetable at home. To start, you need to understand the basics of celery planting. This begins with understanding the ideal conditions needed for celery to thrive. Celery is a cool season plant, which means it prefers cooler temperatures. The optimum temperature range is between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the plant can tolerate temperatures as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's talk about sunlight. Celery needs a lot of it, about six to eight hours of full sun exposure each day. However, in regions with harsh, hot summers, a bit of afternoon shade can help prevent the plant from wilting. The type of soil is also crucial. Celery thrives in rich, well-drained soil with a pH level between six and seven. The soil should be loamy or sandy and must be high in organic matter. This is because celery plants are heavy feeders requiring a lot of nutrients to grow. Adding compost or well-rotted manure to the soil can provide these necessary nutrients and improve the soil's structure, ensuring it retains moisture but drains well. The best time to plant celery seeds is in the early spring, about 10 to 12 weeks before the last expected frost. If you live in a region with milder winters, you can also plant in the fall for a winter harvest. Remember, celery seeds are tiny and need to be sown shallowly about an eighth to a quarter of an inch deep. They also need constant moisture to germinate, so it's important to keep the soil evenly moist, but not waterlogged. Once you have these basics in place, you are ready to start the process of growing celery at home. Now, let's take you through the step-by-step -step process of growing celery at home. Growing celery starts with planting the seeds. The best time to start is eight to 10 weeks before the last frost in your area. Start by filling a shallow container with seed compost. Sprinkle the celery seeds over the top and press them gently into the surface. Don't cover the seeds as they need light to germinate. Keep the compost moist and place the container in a warm spot. You should see sprouts in about two weeks. Once the seedlings are about two inches tall, it's time to thin them out. Remove the weaker seedlings, leaving the strongest ones about one to two inches apart. This gives the remaining seedlings room to grow. The next step is transplanting the seedlings into your garden or pots. Wait until the danger of frost has passed and the seedlings have grown to about six inches tall. Prepare the soil by adding compost or well-rotted manure, which will provide the nutrients the celery plants need. Dig holes that are twice as wide and just as deep as the root balls of your seedlings. Place a seedling in each hole, filling in around the roots with soil. Water thoroughly after planting. Celery plants require consistent care to grow well. They need lots of water, so keep the soil consistently moist. If you're growing celery in a pot, ensure it has good drainage to prevent water logging. Fertilize your celery plants every two weeks with a balanced fertilizer to promote healthy growth. As the celery plants grow, you may need to provide support to keep them upright. Use garden stakes or string to prevent the plants from falling over. When it comes to harvesting, patience is key. Celery takes a long time to mature, typically three to four months. You'll know it's ready when the stalks are about eight to 10 inches tall. To harvest, simply cut the stalks at the base of the plant. Remember, you can harvest one stalk at a time, allowing the rest of the plant to continue growing. And there you have it, a simple guide to growing celery in your own garden or even in a pot. While growing celery can be rewarding, there might be a few hiccups along the way. Let's discuss some of the common problems you might encounter and how to address them. Firstly, our green friends are not the only ones fond of celery. Pests such as aphids and slugs are too. Aphids are small insects that suck the sap from the celery, causing the leaves to curl and turn yellow. A strong spray of water can knock them off, or you can use insecticidal soap. Slugs, on the other hand, can cause considerable damage to the leaves and stalks. 
To keep them at bay, use organic slug pellets or barriers such as copper tape. Next up, diseases. Celery is susceptible to a variety of diseases including early blight, late blight, and pink rot. Early blight is a fungal disease that causes spots on the leaves and stalks, which can be controlled with fungicides. Late blight, another fungal disease, causes water-soaked spots on the leaves and can be prevented by ensuring good air circulation around the plants. Pink rot, a bacterial disease, causes the stalks to rot and turn pink. Remove and destroy infected plants to prevent the spread of the disease. Finally, let's talk about nutritional deficiencies. Celery is a heavy feeder and requires a lot of nutrients to grow well. Yellowing leaves could indicate a nitrogen deficiency, while purple leaves could suggest a phosphorus deficiency. To amend these deficiencies, apply a balanced fertilizer to the soil. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Regularly check your plants for signs of pests or disease, and ensure they are receiving adequate water and nutrients. If you notice anything unusual, don't hesitate to take action. Armed with this knowledge, you are well equipped to handle any challenges that may arise during your celery growing journey. Growing celery at home has more benefits than you might think. Let's start with the nutritional punch this humble vegetable packs. When you grow celery in your own backyard, you control the soil and the care it gets, which often results in a product superior to what you find in the grocery store. Homegrown celery tends to be richer in essential nutrients like vitamins K, A, C, and some B vitamins, not to mention the dietary fiber and beneficial plant compounds it provides. By growing your own, you ensure you're getting the freshest, most nutrient-dense celery possible. But the benefits go beyond just nutrition. There's a certain satisfaction that comes from growing your own food, a connection to nature that's hard to replicate. When you plant a seed, nurture it, and watch it grow into a mature plant, you're not just cultivating celery, you're cultivating patience, perseverance, and a sense of accomplishment. Moreover, growing celery at home can be a fun and educational project for the whole family. It can teach children where their food comes from and instill in them a respect for nature and the environment. Plus, it's a great way to spend time outdoors, get your hands dirty and engage in a productive activity. Let's not forget the economic aspect. With the rising cost of fresh produce, growing your own celery can save you a pretty penny. Think about it, a packet of celery seeds costs less than a bunch of celery at the store, and it can yield a much larger harvest. Over time, these savings can really add up. So, homegrown celery is not just a fresh, nutritious addition to your meals. It's a hobby, an educational tool, a way to connect with nature, and a means to save money. But most importantly, it's a testament to your ability to create and sustain life, right in your own backyard. So, why not give it a try? You might find that growing celery at home is easier and more rewarding